Hey guys, welcome back to the channel TJHD here back with another awesome video. In this video, we're going to be having a look at some of the steps that we can take in order to make sure that we clear out some space for Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. <laughs> Since there are many different ways of clearing out the space in Final Cut Pro, we're gonna go through them all. So let's start from one file or multiple files at a time. So you simply highlight them all, right click on it, it'll drop down a menu all the way down to the very bottom of that menu. There's an option of moving the file to the trash. Now this method is about doing the same thing, but with a lot less clicks. So you go into files, look for delete generated library files. There's an option under delete rendered files, which is unused or all of them. You can click whatever you like. Now this will delete all the files under that specific library, which are either original or were copied into Final Cut Pro's use. So it's going to delete all of them with a lot less clicks. That's it. In order to delete an event in the library, you simply right click on it and move it to trash. That's it. This last method is about deleting libraries in Final Cut Pro, which is not possible in this software. So you would have to look it up in your hard drive. You simply do a search about the word movies in Finder. All these libraries are always saved under movies folder. There might be a couple of folders under that name, but you're looking for the original movies folder to recognize that you would look for a movie sign on top of that folder. That's the one that you want to go into. The same way that these libraries have that four starred icon right beside them in Final Cut Pro, they should have that icon in that folder as well. You can actually correlate those, all those folders to your libraries and they should have the exact same name. If you want to see what's inside them, you can right click on it and do show package content. You can't double click on it. Anyways, now you simply highlight them and move them to the trash. Uh, you want to be very careful about that because this might change the way Final Cut Pro works for you. So do not delete them off of your trash until you are satisfied that Final Cut Pro is still working just fine after you have deleted it. And that's it. These are all the steps how you can clear out the space in Final Cut Pro. I hope this actually helped any one of you guys out there. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.